Hola, 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 and welcome back to the kingdom. Guys, thank you so much for all the love and the support you put in the channel, guys. Uh, we reached 4,000 a few days ago, and like I promised, we were going to have a cool video for you guys uh, reaching that 4,000. Uh, Sunday, we, of course, are going to be doing the live stream, giving away the coats and sleeve and all these goodies for you guys for helping us reaching newer heights, guys. Uh, so the faster we can reach 5,000, which is our new milestone, guys, we are going to be doing base rebuild. And it's going to be just amazing because it's it's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be a cool idea that we have. Uh, also, today's video, guys, 4,000 celebration. We are getting invited to Mr. Hello Good Game, the one and only. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is already a pre-recorded, um, but this is the deck that we're going to be playing. So... With that being said, guys, let's see how we do. The one and only Gigex. How are you doing today, friend? Welcome to the show. Hola, hola, hola. And thank you so much for having me, man. Uh, it's, it's really an honor uh, to having to you having me here. It's yeah, amazing. my pleasure. Uh, super excited. I am taking a quick look at the deck here. But before we get into that, uh, you know, as someone who knows nothing about you, right? Never even seen the profile picture before. Uh, what can you tell us, you know, not only about yourself, but uh, about your uh, magic journey so far? Uh, all right. Well, I started playing magic back in like Champions of Kamigawa. So that's like back in 2004. And I got to play for like a year or two. And then I took a long break until probably a year ago. And I was like, you know what? Let's let's see what's happening in the MTG world, and man, it just it just blew out my mind everything that was happening, uh, especially with Sandy Card Rising. Uh, that's when I start like just getting into it, and I'm like, can we do something about it? And that's pretty much how we start doing the uh, the YouTube videos. And since then, man, I'm just I'm just happy and glad that uh, all the love and the support that everyone keeps dropping into into the channel. Uh, our kingdom is just is just amazing, man. And you know, inspirations like you, the hard work that you put every single day, just made me do like, man, can we do this? So yeah, that that's pretty much how we we started the whole MTG channel, uh, watching you and some other MTG content creators uh, that just kind of push us to to start doing the same thing. So yeah, man. Deadly. So you've been creating content for about a year now. Uh, it's been about. Eight months? We're reaching about nine months right now. Oh, wow. You're just killing it then. That's awesome. Uh, cool. So definitely uh, someone who I've ran into on the ladder, uh, a formidable opponent at the very least. <laughs> so yes. I'm excited uh, <laughs> to see what we can accomplish today together. Um, we've got uh, what looks to be a spirit deck, Boros Spirits. What can you tell us about that? And again, uh, we don't need to, all of the in-depth interactions. You know, We want to kind of tease everybody to you know have to go to your channel to check out uh the the nitty gritty if you will yeah exactly uh you said it man it's just uh it's pretty much a spirit travel uh this deck list was actually created from one of the uh our discord uh members he sent me the deck list and he's like hey man can you play this and i was like sure so i touch it up you know just to just to make it kind of like my own that way you know if i make mistakes and stuff like that it's gonna be pretty much uh our stuff so uh it runs really good man I, i've been having a lot of fun and win rate with this uh deck in the ladder right now um you know what we do we just played so many decks every single day and some run really good some others do here and there uh but this one has been helping a lot in the in the ranking ladder beautiful well i definitely need it uh i pushed into mythic rank number nine at the start of the season and literally just like Buried my head in the sand. Uh, started doing, you know, free-to-play stuff, spoilers, and uh, took a little bit of a break. So uh, we have fallen from grace. Uh, so we're definitely looking for a heater just like this to help us rank up. So I'm really excited uh, to hit it. Uh, so we may as well, you know, not waste any time. Let's get right after it. So this is a <laughs> standard 2022 deck? Or is yes. this a, just a regular? Yeah, it's the uh, standard go. 2022. Beautiful. And, um, you know, I think I'm around 94, 95%. So, uh, you know, I say the matches should be pretty easy, but uh, you know how that goes sometimes, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Sometimes you're like, it's just, 
the shuffler. So for All right. I like this hand, uh, but I definitely want uh, you to be piloting it, and I'm just going to try to ask questions as we go. Yeah, I will. I will definitely keep this hand. Uh, we do have a removal, and the burnable will be good in a turn two, turn three. So where are you from? Um, I am from Colombia. Whoa, woof. Oh. Yeah, and currently located. Yes. Still, wow, nice. Uh, we, yeah, man. Very deadly. Uh, are we just gonna leave this uh, goblin Currently here? located in Ukraine. Oh, yeah, okay. he can, he can stay. Goblin is fine. Uh, seems like he's playing Boris goblins as well, right? So we probably want to save that frostbite for the uh, the battle goblin or what is it the battle rage the yeah the the two three the one that gives them plus one plus one yeah the ho that's the hobgoblin I'm even thinking of the uh... oh it's the battle cry yeah the battle cry that's it absolutely so we have rally of the ranks in play um, which is fine do we want to fry this javelin here yet or are we just leaving it. We do outpace it next no, turn with we the. Just pass. Uh, we'll actually yeah. We'll trade. Yeah, we just pass the turn. Okay. Oh, we will trade exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. So go for it. Just get it in play. Uh, so this, this. Yep. Go ahead. So the way I like to play this deck is kind of like a control, aggro because you know you do have the showdown of the skulls and then you have uh, a skyclave operation to start taking control of the creatures it would be nice if we will get a uh, portable ball yeah so he's pretty much gonna be doing lots of damage um i will do that and then i will play the burn bubble and we will keep the frostbite on his uh attack stage if we can uh you know like, they only have two, like, this is another planes, right? So there's only two on their draw, potentially three other creatures, so. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and use the Frostbite. We do get to a tipping point. Yeah, they run out of the gas. There you go, man. Play the Scalds before the land, so we can play the land from the Scalds. And, yeah, um, uh, I would have played the White Land, though. I would have okay. played the Wildland to oh, get the uh, Paladin, Paladin class. class, but it's fine. I didn't even... Short side, um, you guys. Hands off the trigger. He's playing, I'm listening. <laughs> Go ahead and... Uh, I, I will attack. It will be fine. I don't think I don't think they will have removal. They would have used it already. I don't think he will trade. It would have been nice if we would have a uh, like a one or two drop. We didn't get those, but we did get the removal, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And we've already pulled a bit of it out of their hand, and with two war singers in play, go. it would probably been have been worth it for him to have blocked it, uh, just so he didn't get it back. Yeah. The hobgoblin isn't impressive unless it has a field alongside it, and there's some removal for it. So that's great. One up. All right, so I will play the uh, the Spearman Regiment. It was getting a little laggy now. Okay, so we're picking a, a learn card. Environmental Sciences, Reduced to Memory, Academic Probation, or Mascot Exhibition off of the Regiment ETB. Um, let's see what's in the battlefield. I think I will go for the, uh, reduce to memory just to kind of scare the opponent. Okay. And going creature, um, losing paladin class. No, 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 no. I will, I will do, I will do. I will do reduce to memory, 
and we will get rid of their uh the uh scald. Okay. Or yeah. We want it on the four four or the three three. Uh, we'll do it on the 3-3, that way we get two 4-4s. Four, Perfect. Spreading the threat, uh, I always typically like this. Um, yep, so... Want... We'll attack. We... If he trades off... He, he won't be able to trade off anything right there. We could have also attacked before the... Um... But then we'd miss out on the one counter, potentially. It's alright. Yeah. I wanted him to. I wanted him to get rid of creature, but we, because we're still gonna bring it back anyway. Yeah, we we lose the counters, but really it's it's negligible because we have sparring regiment in play. Yep. And you know removal on their next creature. Hitting for eight, uh, actually nine yep. with the uh, showdown, right? Cool. Exactly. Potentially even more, because we can. Uh, we can show down again. Beautiful, man. So, yep. Go ahead and do... I will do the Frostbite. We hit for 8, um, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's lethal. Uh, do, do we drop a land? No, we don't drop a land, right? No. I guess we could... Uh, well, we'd have to get we a land. We could and hopefully we get another no, land. No, no, no. Uh, enter the battlefield so this turn. I will do... we, we, we played a land. Ah, uh, we did play. Yeah. Uh, so we just have to go face so, for lethal. Yeah, go go ahead and hit eight, and that should be that should be game there. Uh, actually, definitely. We can trigger again. Definitely lethal with that extra trigger. Yep. Hit for eleven. You see, and we just oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, you know, one win. Let's see how many we can rack up before we get a loss. Could be a long video today, you guys. <laughs> yep. That's all right, though. Assistance is still down, not That's working good. perfectly for me, but I know that they are, uh, they're working on the issues, right? It's a big portion of their business. Um, so stay tuned for those assistant updates. Uh, many of the features are fixed, but, um, the match recap, right? That tracks your win rate for me personally, isn't working. Mm -hmm. Uh, and oh, then the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. collections as well, but um, you know the draft helper works, and that's yeah, a, that's I a big part using of it. it because of that. Um, for some reason, on my on my computer, it was taking like an extra RAM. Oh wow! Uh, usage. And, <laughs> yeah, man. So I was like, you know what? Uninstall. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is probably a mulligan, right? Looking for better land. Yeah, definitely, man. If if we would have hit a white land, it would have been way better there. But we can mulligan that one. And then what do you throw here? Is it the Warsinger? Oh my god. It has to be, right? Uh, or the Regiment. Oh, the Regiment can pull that yeah. fourth land, though. With the Sciences. Yeah, I will go just for one Venerable. One, one Warsinger, we should be fine. Nice. Uh, hello there. So, yeah. Want to fry or just leave it? Uh, we'll just leave it. If he attacks, we can just do that. Because, uh, you know, they may be able... They're probably going to use Deadly Dispute. Mm-hmm. Nice. Looking for that third land, though. We don't want to... So, that's... Yeah. What I like about this deck is kind of like a mid aggro. You know, you start off with your little creatures, and then it just starts getting a lot of value with the uh, with the learn. That's really nice. Beautiful, man. Oh, and they don't have a dispute. Nope, that's even perfect for us. So we just need we really need to hit that third land. There it is. Regiment into sciences for the fourth land. Exactly. So the the biggest engine of this deck is having the Warsinger on the uh, on the battlefield. 
that is just the way um, we can get more wins because we're going to be bringing uh, um, always something from the graveyard. So it triggers apparitions, it triggers some other creatures. Uh, I will go for sciences right now. Uh, we'll bring another red one and we just hold on because, I mean, it's only one damage. It won't be doing too much. And we... They, well, they shouldn't have a draw. They might have top decked it, but that would be lucky. Yeah. So if he's bringing a, a Spider Queen, then we can just actually target the Spider Queen. That's probably the biggest threat they have, unless they're playing uh, the Skeletal Swarming. Mm hmm. Which are all relatively frustrating. Yeah. It's fine. Nice. So yeah. that means they don't have it yet. Um, Which means they probably do have removal. They probably do have a removal. So let's go ahead and target the... You can just drop the Skycliff Operation. That way uh, we can just get rid of that uh, Shambling Gash. Wow. Let's go straight yeah, through. Yeah, didn't trigger, so they don't have they don't have it. So now it just becomes nice. a, a one one token. It's again negligible. We don't have to worry about it. Mhm. Mm Interesting. Essica. The plot thickens. I have not seen that in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I like this card uh, with Bard's class, um, giving all the creatures the ability yes. to tap for any mana and then just sinking it into the star mounts. Yep, so go ahead and do uh, Skycliff Operation again. Do we take the Ghast? We... I'm um, tempted to leave that can... there. Because she... So that means he's playing... Uh, what is he playing? Like, I don't even know what he's playing right now. He's playing some... Gulgari legendary stuff. I don't know what the other... So he may have. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and target Shambling Gash. And we just attack with the uh, Skycliff Operation. If he blocks, we can just do we can Frostbite. Fry it, yeah. Any. He... Yeah, it's not like we're losing our creature, right? Sometimes that sparring regimen yeah. is just all it takes to get that little bit of extra tempo than your opponent can handle. Oh, mm -hmm. we should have killed it. Oh, the beautiful coma. So we need to find we need to find something that we can get onto the uh, learning. That way we can get our um, exile reduced to memory. Mm -hmm. Reduced to memory because that's like the only answer that this deck can have against a coma. We fry the serpent. Yes. Or do we, uh, do we no, leave it? No, 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 no. Don't, don't do it. Just no. leave it. Play this cult. Hopefully, we get the landing. Hopefully, we get the uh, ignition. Um. Oh, there it is. Nice. That's deadly. There we go. Nice. And we have to so, yeah, target definitely. the person because we need it. Uh, if they sack the serpent, it would fizzle, and we wouldn't get to learn. Yep. So we we hit face. Yeah. Wow. So he is actually playing a soul tie. That's that's funny. All right, and we just don't don't do anything right now. He knows he knows we're gonna be targeting that uh, coma next turn. Mm hmm. And we're gonna be doing a lot of damage after that. Which we have to get after it because, you know, when there's one, there's going to be another. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh god, man, this guy is playing. <laughs> what is you? <laughs> okay. Nine damage okay. down to ten. We still we still have a chance here. Uh, let's see. This having vigilance sucks. 
Uh, we'll take the damage, it's fine. Alright, so what we gotta do now, because we're gonna be earning a bunch of uh, plus one plus one counters, right? So let's play the land. Um, let's get rid of the uh, Inferno Dragon. Do you want to Frostbite command it, or do you want to memory it? Um, For six, we could kill see. it. Let me think. So we got, how much mana we got? We got four, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight mana. For six, we can double spell the dragon, make another blocker. Give indestructible attack. Skyclave becomes a 4-4. Four, four. We have three creatures in play. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That way that way the uh, the Inferno goes away. Because that, that is the biggest threat right now. It's gonna uh, kill we us. can easily go back to... Yeah. So we will do three damage and then indestructible uh, creatures. Or make the extra blocker. Uh, how many we got in the battlefield now? Just, how many serpents are in the battlefield now? Three. It'll be four. One, two, three. I think we need the blocker. Yeah, go ahead and get the creature. Uh huh. We need the extra blocker. Yeah, let's go ahead and we, we need to bump one up. All right, so that resolve, and then we just do another frostbite. Um, where do we want the second showdown? Just on the apparition, or on the token? I would put it on the uh, probably on the apparition on the token. Okay. And if we just had one more land, then we could take Coma too. Yeah, that. that. Um, so we can attack with uh, the one apparition, the 2 2, because it's going to become a 3 3. If he, uh, if he decides to, you know, to trade it off, it's going to be all right. It's the 1-1. One, one. Okay. So, uh, that's fine. What you can't do with the 1-1 one, one is sack it to tap us. Right? So that it's good mm -hmm. It's good to get rid of the Serpents. Yeah, that way the, if we target Coma, it's going to be oh fine. My so God. we can do that reduced to memory. So we have Bridge in play. Uh, that's pretty nasty. And then they find that Dispute finally. Two cards left in hand. Almost tapped That's for mana We're to play be... the bridge, which is good news for us. Yes. Um, so we're going to be able to get rid of the coma. They've got something else here. What is it? Um. Oh, they're just tapping it to attack for three. Oh. Okay. Oh. Nice sacrifice. That was a weird play. Um, <laughs> I like beautiful, that. man. We're going to need that a couple we more times. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so let's play how much we got. We got eight mana. Nine with the land. Um, let's do... I will do the uh, Scald. To see if we get more removal. Uh, we can put that in. It doesn't matter which one we do. Oh! <laughs> That's a land. Beautiful. We're at five. Bunch of lands, man. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I really think we need to take care so of So we can actually... For the bridge. Yeah. I'll, I will get... Do you think they got a crazy... They're gonna pull... I think Koma right now is the craziest creature. It is, but they're going to just pull another one, which is brutal. <laughs> But, but uh, yeah, no, you man. have to play that, that play right there. 
you have we to, gotta risk it yeah you have to just do i don't think it matters we just gotta risk it now now man he just got a perfect uh creation right there with the comb and the bridge you don't you don't usually see this kind of decks uh, lately mm -hmm. he's loving it it's performing really well right it's like finally not a goblin deck yeah <laughs> What does he have? I don't even know what he probably have. Uh, He's tapping them before we attack. Burst maybe for removal, which is fine. Yeah. We hit for six. That's like a two so, for one. Yeah, go ahead and do it, man. He he. he if he's gonna trade two, it's only. It wow. doesn't matter. Taking the serpents, of course. Nice. Yeah. If only we had a, uh, another frostbite in hand, and they only double blocked. <laughs> oh, that would have been nice. No, no, they heard it. They heard us. No. <laughs> so we're killing the two um, serpents just in case they do get another coma. Um, they're more useful. Yeah. Oh God. Oh my God, man. Hey, we're doing good though. Like, uh, oh. <laughs> This gets worse. Just piling okay. it on. Yeah, so that's a problem. Uh, they can push up the star by one. They chose not to. They could have tapped the tree. They could have done that too. Um, Alright, so let's play lands. Um, I think we're just dead because we can't stop the flyer. Um, yeah. It's just gonna be one of those. Uh, just play everything. Just play it out. I mean, it's just. <laughs> yeah, man, he just got a crazy hand. Because the, the the inferno is just gonna be. Oh, it just kills us. We don't have reach. Yeah. It's just funny to see some of these decks, man. That they don't even. I have not seen this since like. What, like two months ago since, you know, standard 22 is a thing? <laughs> you gotta play your hand out, right? Let them, let them see what you had, at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said we were gonna play till we lost, but, you know, I'm not going out on the bottom. I'm gonna win some games! Yeah, no, we can't, we can do... We can do better than that. That was, uh... Yeah, right now, the, the, the... The uh, the crazy one is is coma. That's why we have the you know. It's not the, like we uh, weren't um, from the from the learn. We weren't dealing with them. We were doing a pretty effective job, but at a certain point, you know what I mean. It's your fourth mythic of the match. Yeah. Just like and not even like a, that's a straight up bomb mythic. This hand is like pretty cool. No creatures, which it's, could it's be decent. suspect. Yep. Hopefully, we do pull them, but I mean. The learn basically solves that, and we can find a token. Worst case scenario, right? Yep. Yep. So we can we can do that. All right. That means probably going against mono white. Uh, I will play white and get rid of the paladin right now. Or do we save it and take their luminarch aspirant? They'll oh, play the luminarch. but we can we can frostbite the the luminarch. Mm-hmm. I just I have got PTSD with that aspirant. It's so good. <laughs> like all, all the time. <laughs> like playing three or four of them. All of a sudden there's a ten ten. Yeah. So this is okay. We can or just the clearing. Clearing is just snag that immediately, eh? Yeah. Yeah, we can get rid of it in that round. And next time we can just play the experiment regimen and it's gonna do good. So we kind of stop down their uh, double casting, which is good. Mm -hmm. Far less effective anyways. There it is. I knew you were there. There she is. So we may just want the exile. I don't... Oh! Off the top! <laughs> um... You know it, man. You know what to do. Okay. He's letting me do it, you guys. 
<laughs> yeah, right now the the mono white uh, taking over the standard twenty two. It's you kind of know what kind of cards they're playing, right? Mm -hmm. Which is very advantageous. I mean, it still sucks because it's a great deck, but you know, immediately you know you have to prioritize uh, removal, field wipes, or just like getting bigger than they White are. Removal. Yep. That's great. Uh, that's fine. We take the damage. Uh, what we can do, we can just drop that um, the Faceless Haven and look at that. Alright, so what we can do Let's see. We can bring the uh, reduced to memory. Uh, we attack with the uh, operation. Yeah, even that sparring and regiment. Then if he decides to attack, it's just gonna outpace them. Mm -hmm. If they sink their mana yeah. into the paladin class, we can kill the cleric. Or do yep. we save Frostbite? If oh, no. With the oh. no, 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 no. We can't, oh, we can't we cast it. Oh, we forgot about that. Oh, that's, that's even better. That's not a problem. So we can trade off that um, that Cleric. He's only going to get a 2-2. Two, two. I think we leave it. I think we take it, and then we become a 4-4. Four, four. We take 8? Yeah. Yep. Or else we're always just playing catch-up. And they've got a land that we need to be bigger than. Nice. So we dropped the land. Um, all right. So I will attack first. Let's see. That regimen is so good. <laughs> uh, this right, frostbite is more expensive do... on their turn. Let's remember that. On their turn, right? It's gonna uh, cost. I will get. I will get rid. I will get rid of the um, the cleric with the um, ignition since uh, inspiration. Okay. And we will go for the. Um, science and we just grab another extra uh, red land uh wait a minute we can actually just drop the um rally of the rank so we grab the science and we just drop the rally of the ranks and we go for spirit uh if he attacks with the faceless haven we can just trade off those two Or you think they're gonna get lucky enough and get an extra stuff? Nah. No, we'll be okay. I'm a little bit worried about that land, but the five five gets in the way. Uh. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I think. If he powers we're that, we're just gonna. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna lose our apparition, because we have to block. Mm-hmm. That's fine. And then we. We can block that. Unfortunately, I think we're just uh, we're screwed here a little bit, maybe. All right, so we can go science. Science for a red source Let's gives see. us four. Yeah, it's just the double strike slays us. We have to memory One. the class, but then we're still dead. Um. What do we do? If we get rid of the uh, the Paladin, we're going to give them a 3-2. And they have the land. So they're going to have three creatures they attacking. They have the land. Yeah. So let's play the science. Let's play the science with the uh, with the two faceless havens. Pull a red source. Mm-hmm. And then we get to pick... And probably inspiration, but then because Paladin's class is play, we can't wait for the land to come out. I, I will get rid of 
I will do reduce to memory to the paladin. Okay. And we'll keep the the red source. And then we're taking uh, nine damage. We kill the haven. Yep. And hopefully we get that one left. Haven is the more is the you know the more damage right here, so we get rid of that. Nice. We're still we're still we're still surviving. Yeah, we need a land we're off still the top. That one life, man. And they need to not play anything. I forgot to tell you, my account has a, a difficulty increase on it. This is nice. Ooh. That's very nice. You take so the monk. So, I will... Yeah. Take the monk. We're still dead. <laughs> Let's see, we go science and... Yeah. We'll go, get two life, to three four damage. Yeah. We're down to minus one. We could take... Uh... Yeah, no, that doesn't work either. Either way, it's minus one, even if we take the academic probation. Yeah, that's 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 going to be... We could faceless haven attack. Three, we'd have two mana over. That doesn't work either. Uh uh, that will that will be definitely damage. That was close. That was close, you guys. We're gonna get it though. Definitely not giving up after two losses. We gotta we gotta get at least a two a two streak yeah. win. What is this? One of my <laughs> regular videos? <laughs> right. That's all right. It's a tough game, and I think that's why I like it so much. Is um. It's difficult, and it's not something that's easily mastered. Even when you do a, a good job at it, the the balancing is so like on point that um, you know there's there's an answer for everything everywhere somehow. Uh, so it's great. It's like a a really hard game to master, um, and a really easy game for me to come back to because of that. Right? You can always get a little bit better. I like this hand. What do you think, boss? Yeah, I like it too, man. I like it. We can keep it. I mean, turn four Scalds is just pretty deadly in general. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now, that's oh, something that's good, we've so... not seen yet. We've also not seen Hoffrey. I'd like to uh, have that appear as well. Yeah, the, the Hoffrey ability becomes really, really good. Um... I guess we can just drop one of the frostbites. It's gonna be alright. So that means this is a mono, either mono black discard deck, mm -hmm. and they're playing. They're definitely playing a blood on the snow. So this may seem arbitrary, but what I like to do sometimes is keep that spirit in hand when I have the third land. Then on turn three, I can play the spirit and a one yes. drop, so I get a confirmed trigger rather than playing it out and then just removing mm -hmm. it. Uh, so, do we play our Frostbite or hole here, or do we just, like, do nothing? Probably nothing, in fact. Uh, we just, we just do nothing. Yeah, we just take that little one damage, it's not gonna be that bad. More removal. Yeah, he's, he's definitely gonna be a discard. Uh, we just take down one land, it's gonna be alright. We'll show them, uh, that mountain twice. <laughs> you pick it, my friend. Which one you want? They are playing a lot of creatures, which is nice. They're pretty measly, so we should have an easy time going above them. Yeah. Our turn. Mountain out, spirit out. And, uh, sadly, right, we can't I'll... hold. We want to hold that eye twitch, so we want to probably mm -hmm. kill the expert here. The expert, that, that's that's the that's the play right there. We will need something for this faceless right now, haven, we... but we could probably assemble enough spirits to triple block it. 
Yeah. Or, or if we get some five. more mana, we can do local command. So, what do you think about the uh, the whole standard twenty two? Like, was it was it a good refresh with the El Throne and everything? I liked it. I mean, obviously, it's a handicapped meta. I think, right? There's not. Right. It's 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 different, right? It's not a unique. Well, it is unique, but it's it's different. Uh, I liked it though. Just um, as a content creator, to get a head start on basically the whole next year. Uh, I was grateful to be able to play in a meta that's new, as you know, someone who's been playing it for so long. Uh, I've seen plenty of Eldraine, right? I've seen rogues enough times. <laughs> uh, do we want to scald here? Try to get uh, a land we can, for the next uh, turn. We can or? actually scald to see what we get. Yeah, because we don't have a two drop on the spirit, get. anyways. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's how I felt. Like for me, coming back after so many, so many years, man, it just wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're having fun. That means, eh? That's a that's a good wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, arena is nice. so deadly. We can play lands. Oh, that hurts. Oh god, that was nasty. I mean, no Tigre didn't play yet, so whatever. And we have five, which is okay. so good. So we can play that, and we can play the rally. That way, we can target our uh, war, war singer. singer to get more counters on it. Uh, I will go on the uh, flyer again with yep. the second one. Uh, no, 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 no. The the count on the um, uh, war singer. Yeah. Spirits, and now we're gonna have big boys right now. So uh, we can actually attack with the Clarion. We probably go in with both. Both. Get after it. I'm feeling it, you guys. This is so. Gonna... My question to you: How how long you been you been playing uh, uh, the actual Magic: The Gathering? Um, the year I'd have to look up. It was when it was originally released <laughs> on uh, Xbox Live Arcade. Whenever that year was, it was the first uh -huh. Duel of the Planeswalkers game that came out. Um, oh, yes. It was a long time ago. Uh, and then I played these Duel of the Planeswalkers games every year. Uh, I think they skipped a couple years here and there. Um, and then I think the first time I committed to like, all right, I'm buying. Oh, that's really good. Uh, just like too many magic cards for my own good was in the very first Theros block. Um... Which was great. That was, uh, and then they actually, uh, at some point, they quit um, putting out standard cards for a little bit, uh, and that's when I took another break, uh, just playing the old games again, and um, took like yeah. probably a longer break before Arena. Like I had been playing it like a ton. Um, for many years while those games were new and coming out but they kind of quit releasing them at a certain point um and i never got into mtg go mostly i think just because i didn't even know it existed um but then you know i i see an advertisement for arena and i was like oh shit i used to play that game yeah uh i love magic right <laughs> but uh, i'm rurally located right so yeah. it's like uh you know there's only six seven thousand people oh that's nice too um in my town so there's we don't even have a, a a local game store it's uh you know over do we just attack for five or do we play hot free because this is removal we just attack for five i think we just attack yeah we just attack for five he won't be able to do that um but it's like two Next hours turn, either he has to block yeah hopefully he doesn't get a sick top deck oh it's just another mm -hmm. land they have three creature lands which is annoying but our creature lands stronger than his because of rally. Nice. Do we feed them um, this? I will play the war singer because he he will he will definitely gonna use it. Mm hmm Um but yeah, that's just the travel to any actual magic events for me because I'm really located is it's ungodly. It's like a whole day of traveling. Uh so it's just it's not really viable. Uh, which is why Arena 
is just yeah. so deadly for anybody. And I'm sure, you know, there's it's lots good. of people who are not, uh, you know, in touch with their, their local game store. Um, just through sheer distance and yeah. never mind. And you say you live in, in Canada, right? Yeah, I'm in uh, Western Alberta, which is Western Canada. Uh, so not quite on the edge, nice. um, but pretty close. Like I'm right on the east side of the Rocky Mountains. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, I saw, I saw your video from the um, uh, from the trip you had the weekend. I was like, oh man, that's cool. Get to see the mountains. Yeah, I sh <laughs> sadly I struggled with uh, my content production so much that I didn't get to. I wanted to go fly the drone and like post some of that stuff, but it didn't work out. Um, we land it and trade lands one, but no, that's not good. We should just go hot free. I think, hey. Uh, let, let, let's play the hot free. Yeah, we we wanna we, we wanna show the hot free. Uh, if he targets anything, man, doesn't matter. So we can we can attack with the vulnerable because he's gonna trade something. Yeah, and, it, and the vulnerable is gonna come back to us. Gets buffed up as well. So. Which is this is the very least we get a clarion yeah, spirit. This is this is how I like when the. Yep. Here's and, how I like when the deck starts playing its way. Yeah, I like <laughs> Hoffrey Seems like you know what this what what is this? Is like a. It seems like one of those cards that. Uh, come in the Walmart decks that you'd buy, right? It's like, it looks good, but it's never going to do anything. <laughs> um, but when you get it in play and converting, it's just like... Having the creatures just come back is yep. so silly. So we've got two wins, two wa two losses. Uh, let's go for another two, match. Two. And if it's a win, maybe we'll call it quits. And if it's not, we will not settle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another match. Chat's trying to figure out where I live now. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have said anything. No. <laughs> I uh, I typically it, tell people the North Pole. The. Yeah. <laughs> so the hand looks pretty nice. I mean, I wish we had turn one creatures to play, but it's fine. We don't really have any turn one creatures, I guess. Turn two Clarion Spirit's always really good. Or even yeah. turn three is fine. The Clarion would be good, but um I mean just we just need a, a fourth mm, land for the showdown. I, I, I said we keep it. Right? It's not like yeah, there's no removal. It. It, it would be risky. This would be a lot worse without yeah. the frostbite. It would be a little risky. Yep. Yeah, I mean that's what that's what I tell the internet, you know. Where you live, uh, you know, in the house. Around, yeah. <laughs> in the house. <laughs> Sometimes in the doghouse. Depends. <laughs> okay, we're ready to rip. Keeping seven. Yep. Mountain out. Frostbite on tap. And then we're just leaving it up to fate. We believe in the deck, right? That's a big part of actually playing this game is... Uh, uh, I don't... It is what it is. But if you can plan a way through each situation using the cards in your deck ahead of time, be like, oh, I need to draw this next, right? Uh, you know, probably just, yeah. you know, me being mentally ill, but <laughs> it's a pattern that I've picked up where, you know, when you focus on it and you're working through it positively... Uh, more times noticeably than not, it, it kind of works out. And I call it topdeck.exe uh, within my community. It's a good laugh. Um, but you, you can kind of do the same mm -hmm. thing, or I feel like I can do the same thing with my opponent, and I, I have to turn that part of it off is uh, because I'm running this on my own, and which is really good, you know, engineering your way through the match. That's what you have to do. But I'm also, at the same time, basically playing chess against myself where I'm doing that for my opponent as well. Being like, oh, if they pull this card, it beats me, right? Like, uh, if, if they pull a Shadow's Verdict, I'm fucked, yeah. for example. And then, boom, Shadow's Verdict, baby. Um, so it kind of, I feel, works both ways. <laughs> uh, so it's like, you have to really practice being able to separate it, right? Um, doing it for yourself and yeah. just kind of like ignoring your opponent, right? And not planning their turns before they play them 
just reacting to their turns and planning your turns before you play them. Um, I don't know. That's just me. Oh, I almost did it. Uh, we don't... Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, in... <laughs> It, it also depends, uh, something that I keep noticing now since, you know, just coming back for so long, um, you know, you, you're going to have your, your wing con, but sometimes you, you, some people will play sometimes too many two seeds of like, oh, let's play just only two from this card, two from this card. But it's like you said, it's just like a game of uh, chess. It's, you need to know how many cards uh, you're going to get and it's, just a math number, you know? If you get four, you're gonna have a chance of getting the card that you need in a certain spot. Mm -hmm. Within um, a certain time That's frame. something that I'm, yes. So that's something that I'm still um, getting into it, um, just to, you know, the, the way I'm trying to do the channel is just, you know, playing fun decks, uh, strong decks, and, you know, random yank here and there. But at the same time, I also wanna bring Something that it's it's fun and good to play. And sometimes you're always going to see that meta that is always there no matter what happens. Like this mono green one? <laughs> like, like mono green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're so strong right now, man. Oh, we're just so dead, strong. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, we didn't play anything. I mean, actually, we did remove their 3-3. Yeah. Three, three. We did do something. Um, I think that's an important part uh, to this journey, though, because it's a long journey, right? Like, you know, I've been here for two years, uh, you know, maybe a little bit over two years now, right? Um, and it's not it's not quick. Like, you seem to be doing pretty quick, and that's something that we're going to break down, actually, in another video. If you're a YouTube member of mine, which is really cheap to support, get in on some exclusive content. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, YouTube content creator things, um, just breaking down... Uh, everything that uh, GigX may have uh, to ask about not only YouTube, but, you know, my personal life, whatever. You know, nothing's off the table. Uh, let her rip. So that's what we're going to be filming after this video, and that's going to be available to everybody um, who's a member here. That was a misplay Blizzard Brawl. They only have two Snowlands in play. Maybe they scoop out of shame. Let's give them a nice... They still have beaten us, but I, <laughs> if, if we just nice them, that could have been, like, you know, the blade right in their side as they were gasping for air after that mistake. It doesn't seem so, though. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> They're like, no, no, I'm, I'm still going to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's something that is common, right? And as you play more, you make less of the common mistakes, and that's how you, you kind of get better and rise up the ranks. Um, and it hurts when you make a mistake, so you won't make it again in the future. Uh, for example, I almost Blizzard Brawled the pack leader on one Snowland instead of waiting for three for the extra damage, just like they misplayed their Blizzard Brawl. It's an easy mistake to make. Uh, we could Spirit Showdown and then just die. We can do that. Showdown and get something. Or yeah. we could fry, what we get. fry a creature, make a blocker, gain three life, and still die. No, I think that would survive. Mm -hmm. We still die. Uh, I, this has got to be our best bet. Uh, right, we remove attacker. We gain some life. This way they're only hitting for five unless they activate their land. Well, that's not right. Yeah. And we're still losing this match. That's what I hated about rogues the most, is like, I found my opponents, and no disrespect, our opponents just learning the game like we all are. I misplay all the time, right? Um, rogue players would be like main phasing their rogues into play that had flash and still beating me and I just, I'm losing my mind it's like <laughs> this isn't how it's supposed to work <laughs> <laughs> right it's just yep. so sloppy and it's and, just and like it, it happens a lot yeah. and it happens a lot since, uh, something I noticed now it's since you know I'm trying to create different decks every single day sometimes your brain kind of gets this uh, how do you say, like mental tiredness? Yeah. And you made these little detail mistakes, and you're like, oh god, 
why did I do that? Yeah, and it's to everybody watching who's like totally refreshed in the moment, you know, just just waking up on their relaxation time to watch the video. They're like, oh, Miss Play, <laughs> you're, you're terrible. And it's like, oh man, I've been doing this for eight hours. I'm so tired. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, it just I just have fun with it and we're, so we'll get into more of that after. Uh, I don't know if the opponent is wants us to play more. I mean, we can we can actually do Clarion and Showdown, and hopefully we get more removal, and it will give us some some life. Yeah, I mean, we could probably just scoop, but I'm just so intrigued. <laughs> Typically, <laughs> I, I always play my matches out. Um, but this season, I kind of just threw it to the wind. I was like, you know what? I climbed to Mythic. I did it. Um, I feel like I played every deck three times at this point. Because the 2022 meta is pretty reduced. Um, so just kind of like limping yeah. it through. Making some historic, some some brawls and this and that. So we get that removal right on the top. Yep. So we can do that Clarion. And we can mm. get rid of... Bambler. It's not, it's not enough. I mean, they still have it, but... Well, we can grab environmental sciences off of it. That'll help. Or we can do mm -hmm. academic probation. Get more life right there. The probation could shut and down the stop troll. stop that um, the oh. troll. But we don't want to give them an insect, though, yep. really. So do we kill the sentinel instead? Let's see. We will get four, five. Yeah, we can go for the sentinel. I don't want to do the math. That's the greatest yeah, part about, about uh, co-op sessions when we play together like this, this little series, is uh, it's so relaxing for me. It's like I don't have to pay attention. You know, like you said, the mental fatigue. I'm just like, all right, this guy's leading. I'm just going to follow behind him. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two yeah, available great, mana. Man, Probation shuts down the uh, attacker for one turn. Or the sciences gains us one life. Um, we played a land this turn. Um, I will do, I will just do the, uh, probation. I mean, there's nothing else really that we can do right now. Yeah. Cause like we'd be gaining Unless, two life you know. and still taking too many. Mm -hmm. Shutting down the troll. Our opponent's probably getting frustrated. They're like, what? They're still doing things. How have I not won this match? <laughs> wow, okay. That's where I uh, that I typically do really well in my matches is uh, late game where I'm like super far behind. And uh, I think it's just because, you know, I do apply more mental focus and I'm like, okay, you know, if I don't survive and pull this off, I lose. Whereas it's like at the start of the games, I, I, I'm i more loose with it probably, I feel like. And I'm paying less attention. There's less like super focus, less planning, you know, that ability to, you know, engineer your way out of the situation, uh, your manifestation of your deck, uh, stuff like that. I, I really do like the late game magic, um, you know, where your opponent gets frustrated, right? That part of the match, I really, really like. Yeah, because you you cannot take it over of you know like okay we made it we made it to the top ten right now and there's still a chance and sometimes they lose control too. Yeah, it's like uh, it's easy to misplay just like earlier, right? And as those or like as mm -hmm. the match goes longer, the accumulation of misplays uh, adds up and it. it uh, oh, oh, this is not a misplay though. <laughs> there's that that land we've been looking at for a while. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We can just do we can just do the spirit. Yeah, we're still good here. And we we'll try yep. We still have the spirit in play to make more flyers. Uh frickin' trample though is annoying. Ooh, we could we have the faceless okay. haven too, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh my god, so much land. Uh, yeah, that's kind of our only choice, right? But then we're... 
Taking one damage from Toski, we're double blocking the troll. And we're still in it, right? Yeah, he's definitely gonna die with the blizzard. Oh, yep. goodness gracious. The blizzard, bro. Yeah, blizzard, bro. <laughs> it's a good card. It is a... A deadly card. Good game. Yep. Alright, you guys. Uh, that is the deck. We're gonna do a quick wrap-up, like always. Uh, we'll go back to the deck screen here. Uh, kind of share our thoughts and opinions on it as creators. Um, you know, reflect on our matches from today, stuff like this, and uh, obviously let everyone here know where they can find Gigix in the future. Visit his channel, show him lots of love. Uh, I think we're gonna try to juice uh, his goals uh, to see what they are, and hopefully we can help uh, them meet them. Right. So uh, the deck is really nice. You know, at a certain point, and especially as a creator, I don't know. You know, as the viewership, if you guys are playing the game as much as we are, uh, but when it's every day uh, for hours a day, you know, it's really refreshing to play something new that's not just congested within the meta right uh so a lot of fun i like the deck you know mm -hmm. um and just uh i do think that there's great power within that is to to play the game for fun uh obviously it is great to kind of have that competitive side sometimes and that's why i like to balance it right is um you know we can push to the top mythic and then we can also you know roll with the jank lords right so uh having a great time thank you so much gigix for hanging out <laughs> Uh, you know, let's get the spiel, right? What are your goals right now? Where are you at and where are you going? Hey, man, like I said, thank you so much for inviting me. It's, it's, it's a pleasure, you know, uh, reaching right now 4,000 is just something that, uh, it was not in my plans. You know, I was just, like I said, about eight months ago, we just like start doing MTG videos, uh, see where it's going. Uh, since I had the free time, you know, try to do something with that. Uh, a game that I love, a game that I like to play. Uh, it just, you know, brings something cool that you can bring to a lot of people who plays this game. Lately, I think MTG Arena has a lot of potential and the game just needs to to explore, like, how can I say that, like, more, more people, mm -hmm. right? So the more people that plays the game, the more people who sees the game, uh, it's going to get more love. It's going to get, you know, mistakes and issues that the game has, it will get fixed because a lot of people are actually playing the game and they will listen to the community. So for a standpoint of someone who used to watch you and other MTG uh, content creators to make that jump, it just, you know, it just takes a little bit for for a person to to show more stuff. So watching you and more other MTG creators made me do this. And so far, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm glad that the channel is taking off the way it is. And I can provide stuff to to people. Uh, like you said, not competitive all the time, but you know, having fun with the game. Because it's just like playing chess. We're just playing it with cards. Uh, but we want to have fun sometimes. And this kind of decks, um, it brings you fun to the game. It just It's just a fun game. You know, I love the game. It's just really, really good. Um, with the goals, man, uh, as big as it can go, uh, I want to keep pushing videos daily. I want to keep pushing more other stuff. Um, if people who follow the channel, we actually do some other, um, uh, video games and there's going to be more video games coming up as well, but our main focus is MTG. So if you guys love to see some other content, go ahead, subscribe, you know, help us reach our newer, uh, newer heights. It's just amazing guys. Uh, the community is just amazing. I mean, thank you so much for having me, man. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, it's a pleasure. Never thought I was gonna, I was gonna get someone like, like you. You know, like it's just, it's just really, really nice having that invitation, man. You know, and I, I appreciate uh, you and uh, you know all the other content creators as well. You know, it's a collective effort uh, to build our individual communities and onboard new people uh, who have never seen Magic before. You know, used to play it years and years ago. Uh, we get a really cool new clients. You know, it's it's fairly respectable on the budget comparatively to paper, uh, and there's like an unlimited amount of people to play with. 
uh, cool content creators uh, to hang out with as well, right? So uh, word on the street is, you know, at 5,000 subs, this guy's going to do a mask reveal. I thought I was collabing with MF Doom to start today's show here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I thought he wore a mask. I didn't know he was actually faceless. So uh, at 5,000 subs, if we can help them get that, uh, you'll actually get to see for the first time uh, what I can only imagine is one of the most beautiful Ever. content creators we're uh, going to get a chance to lay our eyes on. So <laughs> let's help uh, Gate Guys reach those goals. Uh, <laughs> make sure to check out the link in the description below. We'll have a link to that channel and uh, to a Spirits video as well. Subscribe to the channel, like the content, you know, watch it as it continues to come out and follow his journey. Thank you guys all so much for your time and attention. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Have a magical day. We'll see you guys soon in the next. And if you guys want in on this conversation as it develops further, a little bit away from Magic the Gathering Arena content, uh, into more of that YouTube and creation side, become a member to gain access to not only Gigix's, uh, but all the other uh, creators that we've had on the show as well. So cheers. Like I say, have a magical day, and we'll see you soon in the next. This guy doesn't want to say goodbye to you. Can you believe that? No goodbye? <laughs> I was like, should I say goodbye? Hey, guys, goodbye. Thank you so much again. Uh, hello, good game for having us, man. It's just, you know, uh, excitement. It's very, very exciting. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, for making this video, man. I appreciate it so, so much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Yep. All right, guys, and we are back to the wrap up. It was an amazing uh, invitation. Thank you so much. Hello, good game. Uh, it was an honor being on your show, on your channel. Uh, it makes me feel really good, guys, because he was one of the uh, MTG content creators that was looking up at the very beginning before we start our journey. And there's other more MTG creators. So hopefully in the future, uh, we can keep doing more stuff like this. It's, it feels good. It feels good for the community. So all of us can help each other and help uh, new players get into MTG because the more people see the game, the more people play the game, it's just going to be amazing. The community will grow uh, healthy, bigger, and better. So that is amazing. So once again, thank you, Hello Good Game, for inviting us. Uh, that was a nice two hours of spending the time with him. Uh, we played the deck. It, it it does really good, guys. Right now, like I said, we we were just having fun. Uh, the meta, it's really strong right now. You you guys already know what are the decks that are pretty much taking over right now. The standard 2022, but that's gonna be changed in the next four days because you know what's gonna happen. Four to five days, we're gonna be. Uh, I'm sorry, five days. The new set is gonna come out. So midnight hunt will hunt all these decks and we're going to be changing colors and it's just going to be another refresh guys and it's good it's, it's good to keep it like this because it's going to be really really nice to create newer decks fun decks competitive decks and stuff that people do not play out there um you know because ju they're just so into just winning and winning sometimes it, it, it's really nice to have fun and this deck right here it's a lot of fun and when it starts taking off it takes off so guys thank you so much again for all the love and the support you put on the channel i wish you guys the best wherever you are in the world guys have a nice morning day or evening and we will see you in the next video guys warriors of the kingdom you guys are awesome and amazing we will see you in the next one guys bye it is warriors time warriors of the kingdom hope lights Ovle Pija, roman ganef Yasusaki channel gatrod luis felipe sanchez perestello Generals of the Kingdom, Albert Franks, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you put on the channel and having fun with us in the Kingdom.